Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Alright everyone, it is time for another week of Blue Mage gaming. We have got a lot of work to do, and as a reminder, we are doing this for the sake of triple triad cards. My goal is to obtain some of these hidden triple triad cards, which I have been told require roundabout level 60 blue mage to get. I don't really know the details, but my plan this week is to acquire level 60 and finish all of the job quests. As you may know from the last video, I've been doing all of this without a guide. I'm just jumping into it and seeing what I can figure out on my own. But, even though I told everybody this in the previous video, and explicitly stated that uh, if anybody wrote guides in the comments that I would not read them, a lot of people decided to do so anyway. And so basically my approach was simple, I uh, try to read every comment on every video that I post. So for last week's video, while reading the comments, anything that looked like a guide, I simply stopped reading it and moved on to the next comment. But there were a lot of comments that uh, came up multiple times, which I could not ignore, no matter how much I wanted to, and even though I would prefer not to have uh, uh, read them. The cat cannot be put back in the bag. And so there are a lot of pieces of information that I now know whether I want to or not. The first of which is the identity of the other Middle Linosia spell. It is of course Final Sting. It's gotten from uh, some variation of these wisps. So here's the thing. Just from playing the game a long time, I'm aware of Final Sting as a Blue Mage spell. It's hard not to know about it. My assumption was that it would come from a dungeon such as Sunken Temple of Karn. And so when I never saw it while in Middle Linosia, I just assumed that these wisps did not have it. Yeah, I think, see, this guy doesn't have it. So it's, it's not every single one. Uh, it might be the killer. Alright, let's find out. Bring it on, idiot. I'm starting to think the comments don't even know what the heck they're talking about. Oh, here it is. Final Sting. The world shall ah! Ow. I, uh, I didn't learn it. So, yeah, it's a finishing attack that, uh, kills you, but also does massive damage. Ah! Dang it. Why do I keep one-shotting them now? Ah! That wasn't happening before. Let's just throw sardines at it. If I cane smack and sardine it down to low health, that should be fine. Oh, here we go. We did not learn it. Here we are, final sting. Ow! And there it is. We've learned final sting. So, what's this guy do? It is a potency of 2,000 while incapacitating self. Watch this. You final stung me, and now I final sting you. Ah! Now I'm dead. But at least there are Highlanders here. That makes everything better. Okay, so a couple of additional things that we've learned from uh, incessant comments are as follows. You do not need to get hit with a spell in order to learn it. You just need to witness it during a fight. So me standing in all the AoEs, that was all for nothing. As long as a spell is cast during the fight, you have a chance to learn it. And speaking of learning spells, you learn them at a rate of 100% if you are running a dungeon synced. So long as you witness it in a fight with a creature that you are in battle with. And one final piece of information that my comment section refused to let me not know is that you don't need a group in order to power level Blue Mage. Somewhere out here in the Tempest, I don't remember the coordinates, there's some little the idiot things that you can feed to fish. You basically grab them, aggro them, and then drag them into some fish, and then the fish will eat them, and that will count as you killing them. And since it's a level 80 zone, you get a ton of XP every time that happens. But that sounds whack and lame and garbage and boring. There's a lot of gamers with no sense of adventure. If all you ever do is look up the most efficient way to do everything, you're gonna find yourself having a lot less fun. Believe me, there are many doubters in the world that say, oh, there's no way you're gonna do this without a guide. How could you ever accomplish anything without outside information? Guys, who do you think wrote the guides. It was people that played the game without them. So here's the situation. I don't intend to commit 100% to finishing everything in Blue Mage without any outside information. As well, that's already impossible. I know too much already. But I'm still not going to follow a set of step-by-step -step instructions. If you've been watching this series at all, you know that I hate doing that. 
because it removes the fun. I like to play the game in my own way, do things at my own pace. That's what I find enjoyable. And I hate being told what to do. And if you don't like it, well, I don't know what to tell you. Go read a shampoo bottle or something. I, I really don't care. Anyways, I've got a stream I must be starting quite soon, and we're going to be taking on the job quests. So I'll get back to you guys in the very near future. Oh, and there it is. The more you know, too. Five points. And there is smoking one for five points. Look at that. Oh, snap. And there's the more you know, three. Five points. And there's Daba D six. All right. And there's Daba D seven. All right, idiots. A lot of big things have happened in the Blue Mage world. I've done all the job quests up to level 70 and unlocked something called the Masked Carnival. That is, uh, it's this guy right here. It's a series of solo fights for Blue Mage only that have unique gimmicks to each one of them that you need to figure out in the fight. Most of them are for fun. They do have achievements tied to them, but most importantly, some of them need to be completed in order to progress the job quest. Currently, I'm walled on this one. Anything go goes. So here's the current scenario. In order to complete the level 70 job quest, I have to complete this, the 31st Masked Carnival. Now for completing the level 60 job quest, we unlock the Triple Triad NPC Droin. This is the guy I was looking for in the previous Triple Triad video. Additionally, there's a Triple Triad card here in this shop. Another one will be unlocked if I complete the level 70 quest, which means all Triple Triad cards are nearly accounted for. Here's the Great Azero. We got that one last time. This is one of Droin's cards. This is another Another drawing card, and this is the one behind the level 70 quest. Check this out though. Right here is card number 312. That means anything prior to this card is what's needed in order to get the Shadow Ringer's card achievement, which does reward a mount. Meaning I am just seven cards away from that, and as you may well know, Triple Triad is the only reason I decided to do Blue Mage. So, most importantly, what needs to happen right now is I need to defeat Gogo, -Go, my current highest level of Masked Carnival. Now, there's a little bit of a problem with that, but let me show it to you firsthand, rather than explain it. Let's go ahead and fight him. Raid food for posterity, and all we're going to do, mind you, I'm in nearly full 300 eye level gear, all we're going to do is off guard this idiot and cast drills on him, and a lot of them. What he's going to do is attempt to mimic me, which means as long as this D buff is up. If I hit him with anything, he'll throw something similar back at me, which gives me a Vuln stack and probably causes me to die. Very annoying. However, other than that, he really doesn't have any other mechanics. He's gonna do this mimic sap thing. All I gotta do is keep moving. Very easy. Very easy. Cast more drills. Alright, Imp Song, I'm gonna throw a fish at his face. Get interrupted, idiot. There's a fish in your face. See, he wasn't ready for that. They never are. I continue to cast drill. Alright, let's try and keep our health a little bit up there because doom impending means that if my health is below maximum, I'll die. Tremble. See, there's the doom. Watch what happens. It falls right off. Easy. Now he's gonna mimic me again, like a chump, because he has no tricks of his own. As long as he's dancing, can't hit him or you'll die. Bad things happen if you hit him while he's dancing. Eventually he'll stop. I continue to blast him in the face with drills. Tremble. Oh crap, he killed me. Yeah, I was supposed to dodge that. What are we doing? Ah, oh, whatever. Take it from the top, put a bunch of DOTs on him while he dances. Look at this idiot dance. He doesn't even know he's dying of poison. I'm gonna shoot him with drills. And a lot of them. Wee. Don't shoot me, silly boy. I'm too slippery. Tremble. You like fish? I hope so. Impending doom. I don't like the sound of that, so we're not gonna do that. Guess who's gonna start dancing? It's this idiot. Wee. Lomeo. Problem with dancing is he's not very good at it. Let's uh charge up my next shot, smack him with my stick. All right. Very importantly, let's uh let's dodge this this time. See, check that out. Wow, it does nothing. What do you know? It's very easy. Shoot it that way, dummy. I'm over here. Try me again, idiot. Mimicked raw instinct. Uh, the thing about this is this just means that he has guaranteed critical hits. But it doesn't really matter. All you do is out heal it. Watch this. White wind and. White wind, and guess what color the wind is? It's white. So yeah, really not a big deal. Let's go ahead and whistle while he dances. <laughs> and get drilled, idiot. Slap him with some DOTs. Magic sap. Doesn't hit me. Oh, he's about to get fished again. 
get fished. And impending doom, and yeah. So what I've found with a lot of these, uh, these mass carnival fights is just that, uh, while reasonably fun, they really are rather repetitive. There's, there's not that many mechanics in each fight, and so usually each boss will have, like, three mechanics in a phase, and then they just kind of repeat them often. So not super in-depth, but they are pretty fun to, uh, you know, play, mess around with and figure out, but McDraw Instinct, he's already got that up, so. I think I'm supposed to dispel this, but I don't have dispel, so. Oh, well. It's not like Lion, though, where the, uh, failure to dispel insta-kills you. This one just makes your life a little bit harder, but, well, I'm used to that anyway. That uh, takes us an opportunity to heal up. We'll get some more MP. We're gonna whistle and bring on the drill. Bam! Uh, I don't like the look of that. Let's run, and then back the other way. How did that hit me? Um, Volt Stack is bad here. We gotta play this real safe. Maybe I'll turn on Mighty Guard. I don't know if I really need Mighty Guard. It's a big defense buff, but it's also, uh, it nerfs my damage by like 40%, so it's just gonna make this guy take forever to kill. I think I can handle a single Volt Stack, probably. Oh god, we do gotta play this a little bit safe, though. Mimic Sap, Mimic Sap. Oh, I gotta keep my MP high. Could be bad news if I don't. Yeah, see, here's Doom. Right now, I only have one heal, and it costs a lot of MP, so it's very important to keep on top of that. All right, 5%. This opening phase is, uh... <sighs> I gotta be honest, I have done a bare minimum of spell collecting, which is largely becoming a problem. But yeah, it takes forever to burn down some of these bosses, and I can't help but wonder how much faster it might be if I had better spells. Oh well. Actually, that reminds me. I forgot about Triple Trident. I haven't been using that. I should use that. Let's try it. Bam! Anyway, here's the problem phase. Here's here's where things kind of go a little bit wrong. And he's gonna do Blizzard, as you can see. Oh, I moved with Pyretic, so I kind of screwed myself over there. Uh, Flare, I think, is just damage. Yeah. Now, I could, uh, Mighty Guard this, and I think I should, because he's gonna be doing Meteor soon, yeah. So here's where the whole thing goes a little bit awry. Um, watch what happens here. He's gonna start spamming these AoEs everywhere. He's gonna cleave the arena with that. I'm gonna run over here and be safe. Nice and chill. Look at that. In the baby spot. Can't catch me. I'm the frickin' gingerbread baby. Alright, now we run over here. No big deal. But here's where the deal becomes a bit larger. This one... Oh, I, I, I lived. Okay, that's interesting. So, uh, here's what's kind of wild. I was under the impression that that was unsurvivable, so... <laughs> the fact that I lived is, uh, something I was not prepared for, and now I don't know what to do. Oops. Ooh, this is bad. Uh-oh. Oh, fire's real bad. We died to Pyretic. Okay. All right, now this is interesting. So, here's the, uh, the reality of the situation. I survived with Mighty Guard and just by having a lot of health, by basically being max eye level for the fight. All of my sources told me that it was not possible to live without a skill called Diamond Back, which is kind of annoying to get, especially if you're doing it solo. So my intention was to demonstrate just how futile of an effort this would be, but I accidentally discovered that I could probably do this, albeit I need to do it a little bit more carefully than that. And, uh, as you surely saw there, the MP management got to be a big problem very quickly. Let's, uh, let's see. If I could get my health up to a recovery state while, uh, doing better AoE management and not stepping in all those tornadoes, we might be able to sneak through. Max Ether. I don't know what the best MP regen, uh, Super Ether. It's probably that one. We get high qualities of these. 1800 MP. Why are they all being sold in stacks of 99? Who is doing this? I mean, 1400 MP is still pretty good, but... Nipple wart. This stuff is made out of nipple wart? Well, whatever. Let's, let's just grab the cheap ones. Put that on the hot bar just in case. Let's see if we can recreate that. I think we can get a slightly faster kill time on the phase one since I discovered every 60 seconds I have triple trident, which I could pair with whistle. It's actually a pretty big damage, so... Tragically, that's kind of the only halfway decent damage spell I've really got, but... Yeah, because otherwise... I've only got 35 spells. Not very many. We're missing a lot. But let's see. What is the most scuffed possible run I can get on GoGo? -Go? We're about to find that out. Let's get Whistle. Triple Trident. Yeah, it does 4% of his health bar. That's not bad. All right, so White Wind right now is my only healing spell. The important thing about it is it heals you by however much HP you have. So if I use it anywhere above 50% HP, it will be a full heal, which is the ideal scenario because it costs a large fraction of my available MP. Alright, let's, uh, let's bait this. Easy. Let's get this guy in trident range. Stab, stab, stab! Alright, he's gonna mimic. That's okay. I'm just gonna stand here and heal. And we run. Very simple. Hit him with a fish. 
Hit him with a trident. Get shanked! This is what's so annoying about this fight, is just the amount of time you spend waiting for him to stop dancing. There's just so many disruptions. Alright, we've got him single digits. And all we do is shoot him until he's dead. Won't be long now. Alright, let's give that second phase a try. All I have to do is switch to tank mode when the meteors start falling, and keep my health up high. If we put on Mighty Guard and spam heals, we just might live. Let's, uh... See what we can do. All right, let's uh, mine the fire this time. Pyretic. There we go. That's going to save me a little bit. Okay, he's getting ready for Meteor. All right, same for full health here. Uh-oh. Guys, it's, it's a little questionable. Ah, crap. Wait, wait, wait. We're pyretic. We don't want to <laughs> We don't want to be pyretic. Okay. Let's turn off Mighty Guard and get some damage in. He's going to meteor again. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. While he does this, I'm going to spam blood drains and just keep my MP up. We can win this by attrition hypothetically. Um, okay. Get that HP filled. Okay. Bros, we are so fine. Guys, she is so fine. There's no telling where my money went. God, dude, I hate this friggin' view. Can't see anything. How many thunders he doing? Just three? Just three. Alright, let's wait out the pyretic. We gotta keep this MP a little higher. Good thing about blood drain is it does a, a tiny amount of damage, so <laughs> it's not a complete waste of a cast bar. Just mostly. I should be getting a trident in every time I get that off cooldown. That's gonna do a lot of my uh, my overall heavy lifting. Alright, mighty guard. Spam drains. I can't believe everybody was telling me to look up guides. Bro, we didn't need a guide. You think I need meta spells for this crap? I can do whatever I want. I can't be stopped. Don't they know who I am? Alright, we kind of want to be on the outside because he's going to start throwing those thunders at me. Well, first he's going to Ice Storm, in which case we're going to Exuviate. We're going to Exuviate. Okay, there's Thunder 1. He will do another Thunder. He will do another Thunder. And now we're chilling. Fire 3. I don't know if casting counts for Pyretic, but I feel like it usually does. So we're not going to attempt Fate on that one. We're going to play that safe. Oh crap, I'm attacking in Mighty Guard. Whoops, that's no good. So, this is not great, but every minute I'm getting about 10% of his health down, so hypothetically, I've got the time. The timer's on my side here. We need Mighty Guard again. I don't really have enough MP this round, though. We need way more MP than this, guys. Uh, yeah, let's potion that. Let's potion that. Swift cast ready. Oh my god, I caught the snapshot. <laughs> so if you snapshot it, the White Wind counted me as being at full health, so I got the... <laughs> I got a full heal. Guys, I'm just too good. All right, we need to get rid of this, uh, this ice debuff. Let's get another white wind on there. Step out of that thunder. Step out of that thunder. Step out of... Ah, that thunder. Can I reach him? Oh, come on. I, I want to reach him. Oh, well. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's real bad. No! The pyretic. Ah, oh, it was 50%. Okay. Well, we gotta do phase one again. It's gonna take forever. All right, nice quick five minute repull. We got 23 on the clock. Let's see if we can't figure this thing out. My goal this time around is to try and count the timing to see if I can find the master stroke for where to place the white wind so that I get the full heal. Let's give it a go. Okay. We want meteor timings here. Time from damage out to spell cast damage out. Tremble. Yeah, I missed it that time. Oh, this is bad. We really don't want the thunder to be there. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is gonna be our stab window. All right, so when he casts... Oh, what? That was weird. I don't know if I just, like, HP threshold him or what. Usually he does, uh... I thought he was gonna do another round of his, like, fire meteor stuff. I mean, uh, fire ice stuff. Ah, okay. Let's see if we can get timing on this one. So I think... I think it's gonna be, like, right about here. Oh, no! I must not have had Mighty Guard on. Ah, crap. Try it again. Man, the five minute run back here is uh, less than desirable. Where are my cooldowns not reset? Oh, let's do it. Pyretic AF. Lameo. Let me turn on Mighty Guard. How far away? I feel like this meteor is really, like, overblown. Yeah, the proximity meteor is kind of a scam. It honestly doesn't hit that hard. However, it will leave me in a bad spot going into Super Meteor. And so, that needs to be dealt with. Okay, we got Lightning. Let's turn off Mighty Guard. We don't need that anymore. Lightning. Oh, to be able to see. Alright, let's shank him. Shank, shank, shank. Build MP. Make sure we get Mighty Guard on this time. Yeah, so Big Meteor is kind of a scam, like look at this. Look, like, look how close I could be to that, I barely take any damage from it. It's really not anything. Lameo, we got it, we sniped it. Three seconds pyretic, and then a blizzard. Now we're gonna shank him. Let's punish all those melees. Okay, time to keep the MP up. The real challenge is honestly MP management, which is kind of surprising because I didn't even think this would be possible. But yeah. 
ultimately, it is just a game of having enough MP to survive. As long as you got a sufficient amount of HP and MP, you cannot be killed. It's pretty common sense stuff, I suppose, but it's kind of wild seeing it in practice. Alright, let's start flushing these debuffs. We don't want debuffs. Just say no to debuffs. Just say no to thunder. Alright, fire. The fire is the annoying one because it means I have to stop casting things. Alright, when he's in melee range, I want ice spikes up because every time he hits me, he takes damage. And here's where I want to try and get my trident slice in. Alright, we will want to, of course, heal that. Trying to let the MP go too low here, but we can spam a little bit. As long as I keep blood draining, I'm not really in danger of running out of MP. I do actually have potion if I need a panic button, so I think the MP situation is pretty well balanced, actually. And there's lucid dreaming, and from here on out, we basically just spam white wind. Hope for the best. And the best will come. Look at that. Look at that. It's solved. The fight really is that easy. I was told this would be hard. Take a step, drill cannon. Take a step, drill cannon. We're gonna go back toward him here. Otherwise, he'll uh, potentially lock us out of range. We don't want that. So I think with fire, if I'm caught casting, I don't think that blows the pyretic. Uh-oh. Ah! That will, though. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to be next to him. I, I forgot that Blizzard is underneath him. Okay. That one was close, though. So, like, we, we got the rhythm down. It's just, yeah, uh, you, you don't want to be underneath him during that phase, because after fire, he follows up with ice. I forgot about the ice. There's so much AoE spam in that phase, I never even noticed it there, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll plan accordingly. All right, well, here we go again. Let's shank him a lot. Stabby, stabby. Also, I just remembered I have Sonic Boom. Also, Glare, technically Glare. Uh, both of these spells are slightly higher potency than the Drill Cannon that I have been using, so I should really be maining those as, uh, as spammables. Okay, one more Blood Drain, and we'll start spamming heals. So, guys, it occurred to me that the reason I'm surviving Meteor is literally from my food buff. I'm using high-quality food, so the plus 10% HP buff, that is what's keeping me alive. <laughs> so that just goes to show. You gotta bring your raid food. Okay, so we do actually want to be kind of far away from him for the, uh... See, I was trying to keep in casting range like this, but we can't move while he does fire. And then we don't want any next to him for Blizzard, so... Yeah, I was just, uh, forgetting about the obvious Blizzard situation, but that's okay. We've learned from that mistake. It will not happen again. Mighty Guard on. I don't even need to move here. We just need MP. We just need MP. Is this gonna be the rare, like, perfect Meteor phase where I never have to move? <laughs> what is this? White Wind. Easy. So yeah, we want to be like kind of close to him, but not so close that he's hitting me with the uh, the blizzard. So ah, can't see anything. Okay, we're fine. I also forgot that uh, Sonic Boom actually has pretty long range to it, so I don't really need to be that close to him at all as long as I'm using this. Yeah, Drill is 20, Boom is uh, 25, so actually does have a slight longer range. Oh, I just realized I never turned off Tank Stance, so I've been doing minimal damage this whole phase. Oh, what a disgrace. The Stance Dancing is actually really important here because, again, Mighty Guard, it's 40% mitigation, but it's also 40% less damage, so it is basically tank stance. This might be another no-move meteor. Usually the meteors land opposite each other. I should be chilling right here. Oh yeah, we're fine. See, this might look insane, but like, you really have a lot of leeway on how close you could be to that meteor. Alright, swift cast our HP back up, turn off guard. Right, let's do a couple blood drains here, just keep the MP a little bit high. Dispel that. One more heal for posterity. Sonic boom. Good lord, I hate the <laughs> tornadoes. All right, he will come and engage. I'm gonna stab him. Flare is no big deal, it's just damage. This would be a good place for ice spikes because uh, it would be a little bit of extra damage, but I don't really know where to weave it in. It's probably not worth worrying about. There's just so much going on there. I don't like keep ending up in the perfect spot. All right, let's fill our health back up. Just play it safe, you know? No need to get sloppy here. No need to get daring. We can just uh, play this as safe as possible. I really see no good reason not to do that. Kill stance. Now we're chilling. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's too predictable. He's pathetic. Let's get some ice spikes and get stabbed. Uh, sorry, the cast bar makes that awkward. There we go. Uh, we might want to health up a little bit for this. Just play it safe. Yeah, that one kind of hurts a little. Swap back into tank stance. Oh man, I had to move. How cringe is that? Hey, we got the perfect white wind. All right, let's disengage, prep. Get ready to stab him. He is being stabbed. Lovely. How cringe is it that they said you needed diamond back for this? You don't need diamond back for this. You don't even need nickel back for this. This crap is easy. Go, go, meteor. Go, go, gadget. Get screwed, idiot. Let's just finish him off. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I don't want to. Let's finish him off. Look at that. 
200 allied seals. Look at him. Down he goes. He's an idiot. Four faced. Uh, I don't know what that means, but it was points. Anything go goes. That just goes to show you can, in fact, succeed in life by doing the absolute bare minimum. Let's get that last quest done so I can get materia on my stick. The end go go is no match for your mastery of blue magic. True. That's the work to do if a zero of the fourth is to follow in your footsteps. True. I beat that guy with like three spells. Literally, pizzas got me through that fight. I beat him with the power of pizza. Hero of the hour, that's me. What is it I'll be doing now after beating this idiot? Uh, um, playing triple triad. Whoa. Oh yeah, so this this mad baby is uh, trying to save his fiance from an evil investor. And this guy's about to get sacked for smuggling soy sauce. If you gotta go down, at least be smuggling something cool. Bro, he's really getting arrested by the brass blades. Literally, all you gotta do is bribe your way out of it. He has the money. He, he's just gotta pay up. He can walk away from this, no problem. The brass blades are like the most corrupt police force in the entire world. Even the pirates have better, like, adherence to law. Alright, and here's this dumb idiot's baby wife. And they lived stupidly ever after. Alright, nutty buddy, get out of here, you idiot. Woohoo. In the end. Gotta finish Shadowbringers to do the next one. Doesn't matter because that's not a card that I care about at the moment. The card that we want is this one. Go Go, Master of Mimicry. Look at that. Bam! Genuinely, I didn't think I was gonna get that today because I actually thought that the fight was gonna be impossible without Diamondback. All sources indicate that it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This was an unexpected turn of events, but I'm really glad that we could have that be the outcome instead of me just bashing my head against a wall and struggling to fill the rest of the airtime. That was much more climactic, I think. So, with that said, the only cards that I still need are a couple of, you know, kind of annoying Shadowbringers ones, and then those other two Blue Mage ones. Look at that, it's beautiful. So yeah, this specific achievement was the first grind that I ever undertook in this game. Well, kind of. Uh, technically, Grand Company was the, the really first, but the first long-term grind I ever undertook was basically this. And it's been on hold for a long, long while because I've been preoccupied with other things but we are now just six cards away, and by goodness, I intend to get them. But we don't have time for that right now. Let's go ahead and roll the outro. And that's what we got done this week. I pulled six entire achievements for a total of 30 points. This brought my LOL achievement score up to 18,225. My server rank still hasn't changed, but rest assured it will soon. Most of the leveling and spell collecting this week was on my live stream, so go and follow the Twitch channel if you want to join the grind live. For now, I have to get back to playing Triple Triad and catching meteors with my face. One like equals one meteor. Okay, bye. From the deepest pitch of the seven hells to the pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall... Ah!